Well, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Oh, and if you're a little bit tired, I hope you had a lovely weekend, everyone. Thank you for all your beautiful pictures. Um, now, I've been thinking the last few days, what am I going to do? You have to realise it's a bit different to being in the art room where we've got paint, we've got things to do, printing, big stuff, because everyone at home has sort of minimal things some people have more than others i have to be a little bit clever about what i do and i kept thinking oh we could do some more cartooning hmm, boring we could do some color theory hmm, boring so what i decided to do was some work on fonts so doing words in really and letters in really fun ways now I had a lot of fun doing it, so I know you will too. That's my indicator. If I think it's going to be boring, I know you will too, most of the time. So, when I was looking into um, different fonts, a lot of them fell into two sort of categories to start with. So I thought we'll start today and practice a few different ones. Then next week, we'll look at creating your own font like your very, very special own font. Now, when I was looking, a lot of fonts have one section of the um, letter that is a lot thicker, and then they just sort of adapted from that. So that's where we're gonna start. And then what I found, a lot of fonts add just parts of the leaves or flowers to it, or little, tiny patterns that will be the other thing that we have a go at so I found a few others but we're going to have a little look at all of them as well so what I did was I just started by and this might be a good place for you to start on a piece of paper just drawing a bit hard with the shadow sorry Aiden mm -hmm. but I'll go over it with texture drawing the um, alphabet capital to start with later on we can do um, the lower case, but I think it's good to start with capital first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down the end and then Aiden can look over my shoulder um, while I do some work. Got the Mrs. M, I've got all my stuff. Oh, Nip's just having a little gentle leak. He's been in with Ruby while she's been doing the work. All right, so for this, I, you need a grey lead and a black texture. I love Sharpies or fine liners, but if you've just got a black texture, that's fine. So, the first sort of fonts that I saw a lot of were where, and I'm just going to do an A, so where one section is a lot thicker than the others. So, and it's up to you to choose which part of your letter you're going to make thicker. All right, so I was just start with grey lead and then I go over. So I'm going to make this part of the A thicker. And the B, I'm going to make it this part here. But again, up to you. Remember, I'm only here for suggestions. And the C. I'm going to go down there. You can always, when you're doing fonts, it makes it a little bit fancy if you put a little end onto them. All right, so that was, I'll even do a couple more for you. E, I'm going to do this part here. You ride all the way down there. F, this part. It's just having a play around. E, F. Oh, you like that? Nip, nip scratching at that one. All right, so that's the start. You can even practice doing some of your alphabet just like that. And you know what? You start off plain and then we're going to build up. That better shadow was, eh? Mm -hmm. Now, remember, you can choose any part of your letter to do the thicker part. Oh, you want that little almond. Oh, he's allowed almonds. You're welcome, Napoleon. Mm. So just have a little play around. The good thing is with things like this, you can continue. You don't have to do it all at once, but you just might have a 
I play with it as the week goes along. Um, I'm going to do the inside of the I. Maybe the top of the J. Now, it's all about art in any form is all about being relaxed and having fun. No right or wrong. You right there? There's another little bit there. You can have that little one. Um, and then if you want, you can even add two. See how I've got the M? You could have two parts thicker. Now, after you have a play around with this, then I noticed a lot of them then filled them with pattern. And that can, oh, actually with the Q, I want to do that bit. Sorry, I changed my mind at the last minute. Um, S, T. Younger kids, this is good for your alphabet. This is M always has to repeat it in her head. Where I'm up to. Again, remember, oh, I think I'll just do one of those. Oh, a bit wonky donkey, doesn't matter. The Y. Gosh, you could do. But this is the thing, there's no one way you could do it. There's lots of ways. All right. So already you've created your own alphabet font just by doing that. So that's the base of this week. And then you can go back and you can fill it with pattern. I'm going to do stripe today. And your stripe could go one way or the other way. Or you could do zigzag, you could do spots. Whatever you want with this one, I'm going to go this way. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. If you're someone who likes perfect lines, you can use a ruler. But I'm a fly by the seat of my pants type girl. Whoop, whoop. Especially when we're just practicing. So to this week, it's just going to be practicing as many different fonts as we can, like this. Um, and then the week after, Next week, we're going to be creating your very own. This is M's font. I'm going to create my own. All right, so you can do that. Then from there, what I found was all these sort of ones. So they did the base, and then they did sort of like lines inside the A. be A. B would be, again, you might decide to do your line somewhere else and then you can just go. Now, lovely Elizabeth was on our grade two Zoom the other day when we were doing bubble writing for Father's Day. And I think she did about 13 different forms of bubble writing for Dad. You want to come check out what's going on? Should do your name later, shouldn't we? Some fancy writing. Like that. And then we could even... Did you like those nuts? Mr Napoleon? He's still getting used to his short haircut. During the day he's alright, but at night time it gets a bit cold. Alright, so this week it's all about playing around with different things. We're going to focus on the two different sorts. This one where we've got part of it that's thicker and then one that we put sort of interesting little patterns into it. I just picked a few letters that I liked. So, you're right there. Sorry, Napoleon. Oh, I'm sitting on it. So, I started off with just very simple by making one part of your letter thicker and then I extended that by putting stripes in. Look at this E. You could even, oh, go one way with one. And the other way there, like that. Same with this one. Maybe halfway. Do you know what I love is when you guys send me things, you come up with as good ideas or even better than mine. That's what I like. With some of the Father's Day things, wow. I love that they're all different. See, so you could go different ways. A bit of fun. All right, so that's sort of what I want you to practice to start with. The base of one part thicker and then what you do with it that sort of thing and then the next part Napoleon I wish you could pass me that are you a good assistant if you were a great assistant sorry that I'll get it you could pass me 
looking at this. All right. So another sort that I saw was a lot of them had the alphabet and then parts of it had plants or flowers or little extra parts to it. I thought that was rather gorgeous. Now these, once you have a play around with these, you could do a sign for your door, your own name. All right. So let's practice a few. Now, I've written the alphabet out. And then you just have a look at it and go, do I want my leaf going up that side or along there? Totally up to you. You might want that curve. So instead of that one this time, I'm going to do my leaves up the side. Now remember, no right or wrong. You might just want small ones, big ones. And then the rest of the A. You can rub out the grey lead later if you want. So I decided to do that this way this time. It there, but this time I think I'm going to just choose this part here. Little leaves, you might do yours as flowers. Remember, no right or wrong. Ooh, ooh. We're here for the ideas on Mrs. M's art. Ooh. And that one, with the C. I think I'm going to do them at the end this time. This is the fun part because every time you do it, you might do something different. You could do the little vein down the middle if you wanted, or you could just colour them in even. Right, the next one I might do that, so I might do the middle one, but this time I might just colour the leaves in. Later on you could start adding a bit of colour, couldn't you? Do you remember the little bits at the end if you wanted? Your ref, I'm going to do it at the top this time. So every single time you practice this, you could do it differently and then maybe see which one you liked the best. So you could just keep going and if you keep going, that means you've created your very own alphabet in a certain style. It's actually very relaxing. Before I had my music, relaxing music going and I was just having fun practicing it. All right, you could even do flowers if you wanted it doesn't even have to be complicated it's just like a little bit of a pattern what do you do little leaves in between can't wait to see what you guys come up with okay so that was that sort of one and then there was one that was just really quite simple so you just go over your letter like that and then you just sort of add arrows in one spot let's go over you can go whatever way you want really just very fun and chilled ooh, ooh. You. Oh, why not do it on the little? I don't know what that's called on the queue, that little stick thing. Oh, there's birds in the backyard. Oh, Nip loves playing with the birds. They tease him. They sit on our shed roof and chat to him. Yeah, and you <laughs> he gets a bit of attitude about it. Oh, it's all right. Leave them alone. All right, then you just keep going. So that's those styles. And here's just a couple of others that I saw while I was doing it. And these are quite easy. So this one, you just do your A. And then anywhere there's, um, what would you call that, Aiden? Like a little corner? An angle. Yeah, an angle or a corner. You can just fill in like that. So the B. Nip, good boy. Leave the birds alone. Oh, they tease him. Any time is Shh. He's trying hard not to bark. And that one, any little corner or angle, you just sort of curve it. So that's quite an easy one. And then this one, it's quite easy, but very effective. So you've done just your letter and then you fill it in. So you can leave it like that if you want or fill in both. Just do the shape over and over again, smaller and smaller. D for Dahlia. 
Next week I'm going to write yours and my name. Nip. So you can either just fill in part of it like that or the whole way. Again, practice them all. The shape. Bit of fun. How's that? So all these different things you can try. You just have a bit of fun doing. All right. So what you do is just start by writing your letter out in grey lead. I usually do um, capital to start with. All right, now you go around there and we'll say goodbye. Come here. Come on, let's say goodbye. Over here. Over here. Come all the long way around. This way, let's say goodbye. Good boy. And then you can go out and play with the birds. So all I want is for you to have a lot of fun with your lettering. Practice all those this week and then next week you're going to create your very own. And then we can write some words with them. You can write... Um, things to put on your door, you can write your friends' names, um, and lots of other things. So I hope you have as much fun doing it as I did. Goodbye from Napoleon and I. Bye.